watching NBC News. Now, every year, African countries lose billions of dollars spent for taxes. Some analysts suggest a digital overhaul of Africa's tax system is needed to boost revenue collection, financing, and regional coordination. Now, to talk more about this, I'm joined in the studio by Dr. Nara Moncom, Director of Research at the African Tax Administration Forum, an international organization offering a platform for cooperation between tax authorities in Africa. Good evening, Doctor. Thank you so much for joining us. Good evening. And, thank and you welcome for to Namibia. Me. I understand it's your first time it's here. my first time. Thank well, you. Thank you for, for, for joining us. Even though we kind of explained very briefly, um, an international organization providing a platform for cooperation among African tax authorities. Please give us a little bit more background, especially in terms of how long yeah. this organization has been in operation. So actually, it's ATAF, the African Tax Administration Forum. And uh, this year, we're actually celebrating our 10-year anniversary. Okay. Uh, we were launched officially in 2009 in Kampala. And we're actually going uh, back to Kampala um, right. to actually celebrate our 10-year anniversary. So it's basically a Pan-African organization um, regrouping all the tax administration on the continent. Currently, we are approximately 38 uh, tax administration members uh, from Anglophone, Francophone to, Portu to uh, Portuguese um, uh, tax administration, administration as well. We're basically assisting in capacitating them for, so that they can better collect taxes. Do you work with governments? Who exactly do you work so with? So the members are the tax administration. For right. example, the Inland Revenue Department is a member of the, of, of the organization. All right. Mm. Now, let's get into the conversation about the current uh, status of Africa's tax systems mm -hmm. in terms of efficiency and especially um, uh, effectiveness in tax payments and, and data collection. So actually, um, we have um, uh, we one reason why we're here in, in, in Namibia is actually to discuss and to publicize the 2008 um, uh, African Tax Outlook publication. And in that publication, we actually um, saw that, um, which covers approximately 26 African tax administration, um, we saw that the tax to GDP ratio, the average tax to GDP, GDP ratio was around 16%. So we tell, which tell us, compared to, for example, around 34% in OECD countries, which tell us they still um, a good margin for improvement in our countries. And of course, in terms of um, um, tax collection, uh, data collection, data is actually, I will venture as, so far as to say data is actually a prerequisite for, 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 for tax collection as well, because he, uh, he assists us, the data collect the data, as well as the analysis of the data, actually assist us in, 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 in designing um, inform um, evidence-based uh, recommendation for our policies and, and um, uh, tax administration reforms. But um, unfortunately, some of our tax administration are still on a manual system, so which no, not necessarily, they don't have the ICT system that allows them to actually extract, mine, and analyze the data that is so crucial for informed policy making. But do you have a situation, especially if we, if we talk about Namibia, um, Namibia will be going electronic mm -hmm. um, with yes. this year's yes. um, uh, taxes, something that I'm definitely looking forward to, mm -hmm. to make things so much more easier mm -hmm. for, for me as, 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 as a working mom. Uh, but in, in, uh, why is, it, is that a challenge in many African countries? It is still remaining a challenge because um, you will have countries like um, um, South Africa that are quite advanced uh, com uh, compared to other countries that are a bit less in terms of uh, still um, having people, even the large taxpayers, uh, still filing and making the payment manually. So um, this still is still a, t a challenge, obviously, and also, also the difficulties of integrating our system. As you know, if we have a, a, a well-integrated system with the tax administration and the customs, for example, the assistance is widening, widening our, our, our tax uh, coverage and also trying to also plug all those loopholes in terms of tax evasion. So ICT systems and integration of our system is definitely key. So we, uh, we look forward to this, the changes that we'll see uh, with the Inland Revenue Department moving towards, um, towards a fully um, automated system. Now, Namibia has not been um, in the previous reports that you have uh, submitted. You have one here, the African Tax Outlook for 2018. Yes. Namibia not part of it, mm -hmm. but hopefully part of it as of this year. They're joining the 2019. Actually, in 2018, uh, this edition, we had 26 tax administration, as I said, and in the 2019 edition, which we're planning to launch around the July of this year, we have having tw uh, uh, the coverage is, uh, is about 33 tax mm -hmm. administration on the continent. Are there statistics available of, of tax collected annually in Africa? 
And do we know, because we know it is a challenge um, within Africa, especially when it comes to tax fraud and, mm -hmm. and even corruption. Mm -hmm. So um, are there statistics available? We, we as to how bad the situation is? We have some of the latest statistics um, by the, the Becky report, the high-level um, Becky report that uh, about EDC financial flows, uh, 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 situating, uh, saying actually that we're losing around 50 billion uh, US dollars annually in terms of uh, illicit financial flows leaving our continent. And out of that um, 50 billion, 60% is actually from um, tax evasion and tax avoidance for multinational enterprises. The rest, approximately 5%, is for corruption. So definitely is an issue in, is an issue in our country, not only the money leaving, but also um, the type of policy that we need to put in place to make sure that the money is actually repatriated yeah. in our continent and put to better, to, to good use for, mm. for, for any Unfortunately, we're running out of time. So yeah. just a quick question. The African Tax Administration Forum, the preliminary results mm -hmm. that you're talking about that will be released in, in July. Yes. Quickly, what exactly does it focus on? So it's about basically comparing um, um, all those 33 um, tax administration across the tax base, the tax um, um, the revenue, uh, the tax administration, and basically assessing the performance and comparing um, uh, themselves. Um, yeah. So that's basically what we're talking about. Well, we certainly yeah. look forward to um, these preliminary results, mm -hmm. emphasis on that, on the Africa Tax Outlook, and also very glad that Namibia joined. Very good as well, and that they're, they're having us here. Yeah, yes. thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. That was Dr. Nara Monkam, Director of Research at the African Tax Administration Forum.